You know, when I started designing websites, there is something that really, really used to bug me. Every time I created my main homepage or the hero area, it didn't used to look great. And I used to wonder what it was. So what I did is I spent quite a lot of time looking at professionally designed websites to see why they really stand out. And you know what? I came up with a solution and this is what I'm going to be showing you today. Today, I am going to be showing you how to create these beautiful hero images. And as you look at these, you notice that the text there is very easy to read. They're all different styles. And there's a reason why I chose to design them this way. So this is what I am going to show you today. Once you master these four ways of creating hero images, your designs are going to start looking professional. So I'll be showing you how to do this. You can use this technique in uh, your freelancing, your own websites, on landing pages, and so on. Without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. But before we start, I've almost forgot, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you also get access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. Let's dive in. Links to that is in the video description below. All right, so uh, let's start working on our first design. And the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So right now I'm logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. I'm gonna click here on add new to add a new page. So let's call this example one. Next, I'm gonna click here on use DV Builder. All right, so here we have these three options. So what we need to do in this example is to build this from scratch. So I'm gonna click here on build from scratch. And what we're going to do is we are going to add a full width header. Okay, so here it is, full width header, great. So now that we have our full width header here, all we have to do now is to go in and uh, add our heading. We also need to add our subtitle if we had one. We also need to add our subtitle if we have one. And then here on the button, we also need to update this button and also this text here. Okay, so I've updated my text here. I've got my new title description and also my button. So the next step now is to go in and start adding all our elements. So what I'm going to do now is to come over here to design, click on layout, and the first thing I need to do for this example is to center everything. So I'm going to click here on centered. And then over here, I am going to uh, select a full screen. So, so once I select full screen, you notice now that we have all this screen real estate. Okay, so that's looking great now. The next step now is to add our background color. So I'm going to go back over here to content, click on background. So the color I'm going to add here is a dark color. So... I'm going to try black for now to start off with. And then I'm going to come over here now and choose my image. So I am going to click here on this plus button to add my background image. And the image I'm going to use for this first example is this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and upload an image. So you can see now that our image here is in place. Next, I am now going to um, make some adjustments to my image. So first of all, I am going to choose my blending mode. Right now, it's set to normal. So we need to... Uh, set this to multiply. Okay, so at first everything seems all black. So what you need to do now is to go back over here to our first color and then you just want to click anywhere in here and add some transparency. So as I'm dragging this down, you can see I'm actually revealing my image there in the background. Okay, so you don't want to go too bright because we want this text here to really stand out. So if you make it too bright, this won't look great because the idea here is to make sure that the text is easy to read. Okay, so now I am going to go in and customize my text now, make it nice and big. So I'm going to click here on this um, paintbrush tool. So this now has taken me straight to my heading. So I'm going to come over here, choose my font. So I'm going to go with Poppins and... Um, I think I'll make this all caps. Let's have a look. Next, I'm going to come over here to my font weight and I'm going to choose bold. Uh, but you know what? The size, let's increase this a little bit. Okay, let's go with 38. Now it's time to adjust our description text here. So again, I'm going to choose Poppins. And then next, I'm going to come over here to regular, set this to medium. In fact, you know what? Let's set this to semi bold. Okay, that's working much better. Next, I'm going to increase my text size to say about, let's go 24. As you can see here, the lines don't look great. So I need to uh, change that. So I'm going to come over here to my line height and just increase it like that. Finally, it's time now to work on our button. So I'm going to click here on this paintbrush tool and then activate use custom styles for button. So first things first, I am going to add my button background color. 
So I like working this way because it makes it easier for me to see where I, where I am. So let's go in now and just make this orange here a bit darker. Okay, there we go. Right, I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to copy this color because I am going to use the same color for the border. So I'm going to come over here to my border. In fact, I can just paste it. And now my border has been updated. Next, we're going to take a look at uh, our font here. So I'm going to come over here to my button font. Change this from default to Poppins. Great. And uh, let's try all caps. See how that looks like. And uh, we might as well go semi-bold. Okay, I think that looks great. But you can also decide, you know, to just go with the normal button like that. I mean, either way, it's fine. Okay, so as you can see now, my landing page has been updated and uh, my hero image now looks great. All I have to do now is to just make sure that my hero image there is uh, on top. So I am going to click here on my layers and then just drag this section above. And now you can see that our design is looking great. So the reason why you want to design your page this way is because, like I said in the beginning, you want to make sure that it's easy for people to read the text that's on your landing page. That's the most important thing. Otherwise, when people come on that landing page, they won't be able to uh, see uh, what the text means. Therefore, they won't be able to click on your call to action. Let's move on now to the next design. All right. So this is our second example. So let's give this page a title. Use Divi Builder. This is just like before. So this time, what we're going to do is to clone an existing page because we don't want to spend so much time uh, working on this design, which is going to be pretty much similar to what we did in the first one. So I'm going to click here on clone existing. And this now is going to show me all my pages that I have on my website. So I want to clone example one. Okay, so next I am going to go into my settings here. And the first thing I need to do is to come all the way down here to background. And this time I am going to change my image. So I'm going to come over here, click on this image area. So the image I'm going to use is this one here. Upload an image. So now we have this image here in the background. So over here on the color, we are going to do pretty much opposite to what we did the first time. So let's add white to our background. So now you can see that this is nice and bright, but our text here does not look great on this bright background. So let's start working on the text first before we go to the background image. So I'm going to come over here, click on this um, paintbrush tool. So for my color here, I'm just going to go and use this dark color here like that. Great. Next, I am going to go back to my content now, click on background. And then we need to go to the image. So remember, we selected white here as our background color. So over here now on my image, we need to change our image blend to uh, lighten this time. So I'm going to select lighten. And again, everything goes white. But if we go back over here now to our, to our main color, if we click anywhere in here and drag this down, it starts to reveal the image there in the background. You see that? Just like before, don't make it really uh, show the image because otherwise it will clash with the message here. Remember, design is about communication. We want to make sure that people read this message much, much easier when they land on our page. So pretty much they can see roughly what is happening here on our site. So this looks really good. Now, what you may also want to do here is you may want to align this to the left. So let's go to our layout and align left and see what that looks like. And to be honest, I think this looks much better. All I have to do now is to go to sizing because uh, my text there is taking a lot of uh, space. So I'm going to come over here to sizing and uh, I'm also going to work with my content width and then just drag it over here to about, uh, let's go with. Now, what is important here as well is once you do that, you want to make sure it looks great on all devices. So let's click here on this little icon, go to our tablet. And for our tablet, as you can see here, it doesn't look too bad. It's pretty much okay. And then on the phone, now this is where things are slightly different. Uh, we may need to adjust our text here. In fact, we need to center our text. So what I'm going to do now is to click here on this brush tool. So now I'm in my text module. I'm going to reduce the size here to about 16. Okay. And uh, my heading here as well, we can just reduce that. Let's bring this down a little bit. Two lines. 
okay that's looking much better okay so this is what this would look like on my mobile device so make sure you switch between these three uh, devices so that everything looks great every time you look at it on whatever device it is all right so now i can um, save this and let's go back to our normal view hit publish okay so this is our final view so now we can exit the visual builder and this is now our main hero area next let's work on example number three so let's dive in and let me show you how to design it all right so now uh, this time is example number three so again i'm going to click here on use dv builder so just like what we did before we're going to come over here and clone an existing page so let's clone example number two here okay great so again we have our image right here i'm going to click here on this gear icon and uh, this time i am going to change my image just like how i did before so i am going to go to my background click on my image I'm going to click in here and replace this with another image. Uh, I'm going to go with this one here, upload an image. So there you go. You can see my image. But as you can see, this actually works really well. This looks really nice. But this time we're doing something different. So we're going to come over here to our color here and delete it. OK, so this is our full um, size image. So over here now we're going to use uh, the gradient. OK, so we're going to click on this plus button. So my first color here is going, in fact, you know what, before I even add my first color, let me set this to 90 degrees. There we go. So now let me set my first color. So my first color here is going to be black. Like that. And my second color here is going to be white. There we go. I need to come over here to the image. So on the image here, let's go to our blending mode. And this time we're going to go back to multiply. Now, do you see what I've just done there? Uh, this now has reversed. So this dark side here is now showing. So if I come over here, you see this is white. This is black. So when you use multiply, it will um, show the dark part over here on this uh, side. And then over here is where it shows the image. So as you can see, I actually chose this intentionally because I knew I wanted to add my text over there on the left. Because if there was important information there, then it wouldn't make sense to add my text on that side. So now that we have dark here and our text is black, obviously this is not going to work because we want people to be able to read our message. So I'm going to click here on this paintbrush tool. It's going to take me now to my heading text change this to white or any other color that is not very dark okay so you can also use even a yellow here if you wanted to uh, even this would work fine so next i'm going to come over here this time i want to change my text color so as you can see that works really well but let me just keep everything white here so now i have my text it's easy to read now i also have my image here and this looks beautiful so what you need to remember here is the side you want to make dark, you just want to make sure it doesn't have a lot of information that may be needed. So if you feel like, you know what, you need to add a bit more uh, darkness on the left side here, you can just go back and uh, let's go to our background. So what you can do now is to click on the second tab and here is where you can play around with the start and end position. So now you can see I'm adding uh, more to my start position. So let's try 20 here. I think 20 works great. So you can also play with the end position like that. But you know what? Usually I don't like messing with my end position too much. But sometimes you can just use this to reveal what we have here on the right. So let's save this and take a look at it. So now this looks even much, much better. Our text here is easier to read. It's nice. It's bright. And also we have some detail over here. So now that we uh, this is designed, we can now hit publish. And let's exit the visual builder now and take a look at our example and let me just get myself out of uh, the way here so you can see there this looks really really nice so this now is your hero image very professional looking all right so now it's time to design our last one our last example and this is going to be example four let's dive in and let me show you okay so this is example four again i'm going to use my dv builder here i'm going to come over here to clone existing page and I'm going to clone um, example three. Okay, so let's go in and change our background image here. So I'm going to scroll all the way down, click on background and click on the third tab. Now I can uh, click anywhere in here. Let's choose our image and it's this Lamborghini. 
there we go so that looks really nice i mean you can see here that already our image is looking great but sometimes you may want to make some adjustments here to your image so i will show you how you can do that so over here our background image position is set to center you can also play around with this and say bottom center and this will you know slightly uh, move it here or you can top center and now that has moved it down a bit. So in this case, I want bottom center because it gives me a bit more here on the bottom like that. Okay, great. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use our gradient just like how we did before. So let's first of all, let's go in here and remove our blending mode. Okay, let's keep this to normal. And then over here on our gradient, I am going to play around with a few colors. Okay, so my first color here is, um, let's start here with this orange and see what that looks like. Okay, so now that I've added my two colors here, those colors need to blend. So I am going to place my gradient above the image just so that I see what that looks like. So again, here I'm going to play around with the, with the angle as well. So I'm going to go with... Um, say 140 degrees so this is where you can play around with the colors and uh, also choose you know uh, probably a different color that you may want to apply here so this now takes a bit more time because there's a lot more experimentation that needs to be done okay so let me remove this okay now i am going to go to my image because here I am going to now play around with my blending modes and see which blending mode actually works for this. So I'm going to start here with screen. So you can see here screen gives us this effect. Uh, I'm not sure we are going to go with that. So this is time now to cycle through these and see which one you want to go with. I mean, this one is quite cool. I mean, you could go with that. You know, it's really showing uh, this uh, vibrant color, but uh, perhaps maybe that's not what you want to go with. So let's keep going. So dark in here also looks okay. So we're going to go in lighten. Now lighten definitely doesn't work. Okay, soft light here is also quite interesting. So we could perhaps try soft light. Okay, so now with soft light selected, what you could also do is to go back to your colors now and you can start tweaking them. So let's say you just want uh, white over here and show a bit uh, of color here on the left. You can also do that or you can just add, you know, some colors here to make it really look fancy. So I think this looks great as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play around with my gradient and just change it around a bit like that. So my uh, direction here. I think we need a bit more of that red here on the bottom. Now, the good thing is we can actually see what is happening over here. So I'm going to change this a little bit like that. And then I'm also going to play around with my start and end position. Okay. So there we go. And also my end position here. We can add a bit more red just like that. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with this now. And even this uh, text we have is easier to read on this background. So this actually looks really, really nice. I really love uh, the way this is looking. So you can play around with uh, two colors here on your main image. And like I said, you can choose pretty much any colors that you think may work really well. And this is a great way of uh, using your gradient tool. All right. So that's all I have for you in today's video. Uh, let me know what you guys think. What other design options do you think uh, can be applied to a hero image and uh, share them in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot. You know, that's I always keep forgetting this. Guys, please hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take care.